Hello everyone. So you might already know that ChatGPT or OpenAI just released a new update. So it's the GPT for all model, but we have the create image feature now. So what this does is it simply just creates an image based on your description, but it's not using the DAL E AI model. It's using another model, which is the GPT for all. So if you know by now, I create a lot of children's books or stories and character sheets. And I haven't used ChatGPT for a while because it's not as good as the other AI models out there. But with the latest release or latest update, it, like, it's crazy how good it is. So I'm just going to show what I prompted and the results I got so that you can do something similar for yourself. So I just wrote character sheet of a young boy wearing blue jacket and blue jeans white sneakers and this is the image that i got so we have front view a side view and almost back view and three quarter view this is a simple character sheet like it could create something like this before also but now it is much more consistent and let me show you just what it's capable of so here i just said that create even more angles of our character and we got this and it's really good. So I don't know why the text is not showing anymore, but I just wrote to generate more angles of our character. Then I wrote, now give me emotion sheet for this character. So the same character's head showing various emotions. And look at this, like we have six different expressions and I really like these results. And like you could definitely train a model using these images. And if we go down, then I wrote, give me even more exaggerated emotions, various exaggerated emotions. And it created this and this is just insane. So after that, I wrote now, give me action sheet for this character, various actions and poses. It created this image. It's still very consistent. You have the blue clothes and the white sneakers. We got this half body shot, but that's not a problem at all. Like, look at this crazy. And if we go down, then I told it to, can you give me this character carrying a small baby boy inside a wooden basket on his back? I don't know if you know what I'm referencing, but this is what I got. And if this reminds you of anything, please drop a comment down below. And then I told it to give me action sheet for this character, various actions and poses full body. And we got this. So. Using this, I don't know if you have seen my other videos, but if you have enough images of a character that look similar, you can use these images to train an AI so that it learns the appearance of your character and you can generate even more images of your character. And that's great when you're creating stories and books and it can be used for a lot of different things. So you see, this new update is really insane and I will probably create a lot of videos about this new ChatGPT update and how we can create stories using this. So before I end this video, I want to show you something else. So you can also use a pose as a reference. So this is from open art. You can use open pose or something similar like that. And I just told it to give me this pose of our character. And then we got this one here. So it's really close, like the legs are not straight in this image, but the hands and everything, like you can see the potential and like you could just reprompt it and just say that you want the same image, but you want his legs to be straight and it will probably create something like that. So a problem that can occur with uh, ChatGPT, I've seen it before with Dolly and it seems to be the same thing here. So the more or the longer the conversation goes, the more inconsistent results you can get. Like with this update, it's much much better but here i just told it to now give me this pose and it created this one here so the pose is great that's not a problem at all but if you compare it to this character here or the style you see that it's not similar so that's another problem but that's the reason why we create character sheets like this because if you generate enough images you can actually go to something like open art and train a flux model or you can use any other website and then create an unlimited amount of images poses and scenes with your character and it will stay consistent so that's something that you need to think about so 
make sure you generate enough angles and emotions before the time runs out and then just transfer that to an AI model that can train it on the data or the images that you give it and you should be fine. So I will also create a video about that, but I think this is it for now. All right. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.